Hey, I want to share with you another alternative way of solving systems of linear equations in lots of variables. This one's known as Gaussian elimination. And really, it's, it's the same, at least in principle, to some of the other methods we've seen. But this one's kind of cool because it allows us to kind of fast track the method by starting off with a system, converting it to an augmented matrix, manipulating the augmented matrix to a, an easier matrix, and then converting back to the equations, in which case now it's easy to solve. Let me show you what I mean with an actual example. So suppose we have this system, uh, three equations, three unknowns, and we want to actually consider uh, the solution to this, and we're going to use the method of Gaussian elimination. So of course, the first thing we want to do is we want to create the, the augmented matrix that's associated with this system, which actually I've already done here. Remember that in the first column are the coefficients for the x's, which you'll notice is 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2. The y's are in the second column, which you'll notice is 1, 3, negative 1, 1, 3, negative 1. And then the coefficients for the z's are in the third column, uh, 2, negative 6, 2, 2, negative 6, 2. And then we augment it with the actual, uh, with the actual constants, negative 1, 7, 0, and that's what we get here. So this is the matrix version of, uh, of this. So we put this aside, and now we do all the, uh, the operations that, that we've already done lots of times together to actually uh, simplify this. And so let's just take a look at how we're going to do that. So the first thing I want to do, of course, is to, is to um, since I already start with a 1, the upper left corner is a 1, I'm good to go there. And so now what I want to do is I want to get zeros underneath. Or in this picture, I want you know, this to be a 0 and this to be a 0. And so check it out. We're going to make the, the, the first, that first uh, element right there underneath a 0. You see? Look how nicely we're doing that. right? And now I want to get a 0 underneath that. So that 2, I want to become a 0. So I'm going to now perform the appropriate uh, combination of the rows. You see? Not bad. So we've got that. So now I've got zeros there. And now what do I want to do? Well, now what I want to do is I want to uh, produce, that's right, you heard me, I want to produce now a 1 in the uh, second row, second column spot there. So I, I do the division, you can see. And now I want to get a 0 underneath that. So again, I perform row operations, and then you get that. Now that's where I want to pick up the action. The other stuff is just the arithmetic of matrix stuff that we've already seen with the row operations. But let's pick a, take a look at the action here. And I've actually already have done that. So we've converted from this to this. And this is where we started with. So in fact, here's the evolution. Here's the original system, the augmentric matrix that's equivalent. And now we've brought it down to this. And this is in a particularly attractive form. Because now what I can do is actually convert back to what this means. This actually says something. Because remember, what does this say? And the way that I would think about it is to consider the equations if we translate back. The first equation says what? Remember, this is the x's, the y's, and the z's. So this says 1x, which is just x, plus 1y plus 2z. Do you see how I picked up the 1, 1, 2 as the coefficients? Well, that equals negative 1. And the second one says 0x. Now, this is the beauty of this. 0x is just 0, so I'm going to actually not even write it. But I've got 1y, which I'll write kind of in the y spot, minus 4z equals 4. Do you see how I'm translating? And then the last one says 0x's, that's just 0, plus 0y's, that's just 0, plus 1z equals negative 1. And I can now backwards solve. And that's kind of Gauss's great idea in Gaussian elimination, that I've eliminated the variables here. So I see immediately what z equals. I'm done. z equals negative 1. There's the solution. Bang. Now how can I figure out the other variables? Well, now I backwards solve again. If I know z equals negative 1, I can insert that value here for z and solve for y. And if I do that, what I'd see here is, well, y minus negative 4 times negative 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 is negative times negative is a positive. So I see y plus 4. So y plus 4 equals 4. If I subtract 4 from both sides, I see that y equals 0. So therefore, I immediately see that y has to equal 0. And now how do I get x? Well, now that I know z and I know y, I can plug those two values into the first equation and finally solve for x. When I do that, what do I see? Well, I see x plus 0 plus 2 times negative 1, which is, which is negative 2. So x plus negative 2, or x minus 2, equals negative 1. If I add 2 to both sides, I see x equals 1. 
and so I see x equals 1. And look, I've just found my solution. The solution is x equals 1, y equals 0, and z equals negative 1. And if you want to, you could actually check into the original system and see that this actually checks. I've converted this system into an equivalent system, but this one's a lot easier to solve, the method of divide and conquer. So this is a wonderful method of Gaussian elimination. You take a hard linear system of, uh, of linear equations and many variables. You translate it down to an easier but equivalent system. Translate back. You have the variables there. And then you backward solve all the way up. And so we see the solution is at our fingertips. Literally. Look. Anyway, very cool stuff, and it's important. It's great. Have fun thinking about it. I'll see you soon.